Good evening, and Shabbat Shalom. Or welcome to a place for Hashem Ministries, where the weighty presence of God saturates our atmosphere. And those who hunger and thirst shall be filled. Tonight, I'll share with you a little testimony. A really short one, actually. My name is Brendan Brewer. I'm grandson number five of Prophetess Joan Rivera. And the testimony that's on my heart tonight is my exodus from the spirit of fear. In the year 2022, many terrifying things have been prophesied to happen. But I don't think a lot of people understand what a terrifying feeling it really feels like. And my situation is I've been bound for the past eight years by the spirit of fear and anxiety. Fear of the world, fear of failure, fear of not being successful, not having everything the world says you should have. But I came to understand that success shouldn't be measured by what the world and social media says success should be measured by. Success should be measured by what Adonai Yaira says success should be measured by. In case you didn't know, Adonai Yaira means God will provide. And all I'm simply here to say is that a lot of times in life, especially us younger ones, and I'm 27 years old, but us, especially us younger ones, are uh, us, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, us millennials and uh, us, you know, 90s babies and beneath. We, we have this thing where we, we try, really, we don't want to relinquish control and we have this thing where there is a fear of failure in the world. And I know I'm not the only person who suffered from that. But failure, you see the thing is, what I came to found out is that I serve the God who can do anything but fail. So that gives me strength. And that gives me Power. It endues me with power, like dunamis power. God is dunamis power. And once I came into the understanding of who God truly was and proclaiming his excellencies every single day, taking communion every day, it endued me with the power to take the bull by the horns and it taught me how to use scriptural background to expel the spirit of fear from out of my mind, out of my heart, out of my body, out of my soul, out of my spirit. And now, I'm at a point in my life right now where I'm just getting out of God's way. Because the Holy Spirit told me that all of my worship and all of my obedience and all of my prayer, it hasn't gone unnoticed by the Father. And the best is yet to come in my life. I'm getting ready to see increase like I've never seen it before. 
I'm getting ready to birth something. God is getting ready to birth something through me so powerful to the point where it may even exceed the understanding of those who are closest to me. But God did say, Jesus did say that I did not come to bring peace but a sword. Mother against daughter, father against son, stepmother against stepdaughter, etc., etc. So tonight I encourage you to keep your nose in that Bible as you are reading or as you are watching this video and let fear slowly but surely. No, no, I take that back. Not slowly but surely. Let fear this very second by the sound of my voice leave and expel itself from your mind, from your spirit, from your heart, from ill-spoken words, from past offenses, from everything that is not the will of God for your life. Shabbat Shalom.